Logan Paul, in between fighting a 1v3 against Dan Tedium, he has now picked a fight with a Minecraft YouTuber that is 10 years younger than him. This is ridiculous. How low the mighty have fallen. This is a guy who owns multiple now million dollar companies and boxes people and wrestles people at a professional level is fighting with a Minecraft YouTuber. That YouTuber is named Tommy Innit. Tommy Innit is a Minecraft YouTuber through and through. He has 15 million subscribers, and you probably know him as the guy with blonde hair that, uh, honestly, a lot of people, myself at certain points included, kind of find annoying. Now, I personally have come around on Tommy Innit. When I first saw his videos on my recommended page, I thought he was an annoying kid. I thought that he was not very funny, and... After actually giving him a chance and actually watching him, I found that he is funny and he has his moments and he is just not my type of content. And that's just how things go. Not everybody's preferences align. But when it comes to posting a prime ad in the middle of talking about one of the most serious conflicts that is going on in the world today, Tommy Innit is the person that has saved us from Logan Paul's prime crypto, whatever the crap scams. Tommy Innit starts this beef with one tweet. In the same way that Dan TDM starts it, another Minecraft YouTuber that is beating Logan Paul in a 3v1, again, 3v1, he's winning against the top three YouTubers. Tommy Innit posts a tweet from the nearest, the, the closest Logan Paul episode with Donald Trump that is titled Gaza Conflict and it is him holding a prime bottle. Now, he said, right, I'm done. Now, obviously, anybody when seeing a prime bottle ad while Logan Paul is in the middle of talking about the Gaza conflict, which is something that is very serious and is impacting so many lives right now, people are dying because of this conflict. People are actively around the world dying because of this conflict. People are protesting daily in other countries because of this conflict. This is the president of the United States you're talking to, and you do this instead of getting any type of real answers. Now, I have watched the Impulsive podcast with Trump, and I will say it is not a complete cash grab. I will mention that Mike Malak, the co-host of Logan Paul, does kind of push his book upon Trump, but at the same time, he has a very political book. And also, if Logan Paul was in front of the arguably the most influential person in the entire world right now, Donald Trump, and he didn't try to promote his product or at least show his product, he'd probably be stupid. But maybe not in the middle of talking about the Gaza conflict. Obviously, Logan Paul doesn't let things like this slide. So instead of happening and saying, hey, 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 you guys should actually watch the whole podcast. That's yeah, I, I like it. That's a funny joke, but obviously I'm talking about serious things. He instead decides to show private messages from 2023 in which Tommy Innit had sent him a glaze. The offline glaze, though. These are, video, these are uh, messages from Tommy Innit confirmed to be from Tommy Innit. Destroy him, Logan. You have Tommy Innit's full faith. That was incredible before and after WWE, I'd imagine. Thank you, boss. Hey, Logan, hope you're well post-fight. It was a freaking awesome fight to watch, man. I'm wondering if you're around for soon for a call. I'd love to learn some more from you and ask you some good questions. New video was freaking awesome. Hey, thank you, G. Tommy, and it says back. If the same week I had a daughter, I also lost a beef with Tommy in it, I would kill myself in Minecraft. Now, that's absolutely a crazy thing to say. I mean, ultimately, um, Logan Paul actually got ratioed so damn bad on this Twitter reply. You can see all these. All these say, it's pathetic. Uh, it's pathetic. It's p the entire internet agreed. Tommy Innit, you said the right thing. And Logan Paul, for re revealing personal messages, you did the wrong thing. Um, that in the next response from Logan Paul, he actively limits... The comments only people that Logan Paul follows or mentioned can reply to this tweet. And the people that are he's following are absolutely ridiculous. 
They're saying, for context, guys, this is him. Logan Paul, why did why does Tommy Innit, supporting the LGBTQ association, have anything to do with your beef personally? Why does that have anything to do with anything? Why is your friends literally glazing you over here have anything to do with anything? And here's the thing. If he didn't make it at only Logan Paul follows or rep- mentioned can reply, it wouldn't be a big deal. He could say, oh, that's just a fan. These are people that he knows. These are people that he probably told, hey, check, go check out my tweet. Or at the very least, he actively follows so he respects their opinion. This has nothing to do with the beef. Literally nothing to do with the beef. Whatever your opinion is on the LGBTQ+, it doesn't have anything to do with the beef that Logan Paul is having with Tommy in it. But let's go ahead and watch, the, listen to the tweet, see the personal screenshots, and see, is Logan Paul have any, any real evidence here to support that Tommy in it is just a fake, fake, terrible guy? Well, Tommy in it is lashing out because I've been neglecting him. Sorry I didn't chill with you, buddy. Buddying him is actually crazy. That's pretty crazy. I won't lie. But continuing. You in England at the moment? Yes, sir. Oh, awesome. How long for? Leaving tomorrow, big dog. Dang. I was going to ask if you wanted to get coffee. Next time, boss. For show. For sh- for sure. For sure. I mean, I've never heard it said for sure. I don't know. Maybe I'm on Logan Paul's side because he said for sure, actually. Um, also, I would love to get your advice on stuff sometime. I've been following pretty closely what you said last year to me. It was really helpful. Heck yeah, boss. I got you. Thank you, man. When would you be about? So basically, he's trying to actively get on a call or trying to get coffee with Logan Paul because clearly Logan Paul is somebody who he looks up to. Again, this is in 2023. This is before the crypto zoo allegations. This is before all of the bad stuff with Prime went down with the PFAs. This is before Lunchly. This is before a lot of different things. This is way before the podcast as well. Over a year before the podcast. Next, Bello. Congrats on the engagement, Logan. This still doesn't answer the availability question. New video was freaking awesome. Congrats, big guy. Thank you, boss. Sorry, been mad busy. Can we call this week, Logan? What up, boss? Busy ah week. Ah, that's all right. Got some time next Monday, question mark. Yeah, hit me next week. Let's figure out a time. Thanks, mate. Excited to chat with you, to use. So he's clearly showing that he does want to speak to Tommy in it, but he is just being a bad bad role model, being a, uh, I would argue, a not-so-good friend here, where um, Tommy in it has been on Logan Paul's podcast. He has helped Logan Paul with content before. He wouldn't have had a podcast episode without Tommy in it at the very least. It's just not a very nice thing to do. When your friend says, hey, can you hop on a call? You hop on a call with them. It's the least you can do. So in showing Tommy, Tommy in it, he glazes me offline. He says all this nice stuff about me online last year. And now he's going to say, this ain't right. Now, everybody just hates me. He's playing the victim. Logan Paul's playing the victim. And he's saying, people are just different offline than they are online. This is a year ago, dude. Continuing. Let me know, big man. I'm well about to next few days. Sub G. I should be around as well. Awesome. How's later today? Low gang. Didn't say anything. Sorry, Tommy. Been busier than I thought. Lad. It is okay. You have my forgiveness. You about for 20 now. 20 minutes. He's asking for a call again. I understand. Because he thumbs down the thing. Logan, I don't know if the timing would line up, but if we coincide states while I'm on tour, I'd love to do a funny stream together. Yeah, that would be funny, boss. Oh, heck yeah. This is his tour. He's showing the dates. Are you near any of these when I'm in them? She. I'm not 100% sure, boss. Doesn't look like any dates in March. Oh, okay. What about April? So basically, again, Logan Paul is posting private messages from a year ago to back up a claim that Tommy Innit made today, two days ago. Uh, Wait, no, was it two days ago? Yes. Two days ago as, as I'm filming this video, and he is using private messages from a year ago. So Tommy Ennix quite simply says, why do you keep posting private messages of me being kind to you? Are you stupid? Exactly. Like, like we're showing, wow, Tommy Ennix such a good guy. He's such a good guy for trying to get on a call with Logan Paul. Man, I sure would hate to be that guy. 
I sure would hate to be that guy that's just a nice guy trying to look up to his role model while getting absolutely ignored. Logan Paul, you're shooting yourself in the foot. So Logan Paul replies, because you beg me for attention offline, then run to Twitter when I don't acknowledge you. Another fake internet kid. Dude, what are you talking about, fake internet kid? This is not a fake internet kid. You are the fake internet person. All right, so it's the next day, and there has been a little bit more of a development. So basically, Tommy Innit today promoted this this uh, product that he has, his future product, and it's called Vapely. It's the uh, Tommy Innit Vape. It's his uh, product he's been working on for the, the past year or two. He also uh, showed that uh, Logan Paul is now begging for attention from him, saying, uh, hey, call me call me and he is actually actively calling Tommy in it so uh, the very thing that he was accused of doing by Logan Paul he's now doing to back to Tommy in it Logan Paul is a bad person he's proving that more and more Logan Paul uh, the Lord forgives you spread Jesus love